What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors. Come back. I am actually headed down to the lake for a little while. Um, going to try time lapse with the SL3. So we're going to go take a gander. I'm sure the lake is um, back to normal and everything. We should be able to get back into uh, where I'd like to go down there. And uh, we'll get a time lapse of the lake. I'll put a ND filter on here and we'll keep down some of the harsh sunlight because it is a bright sunny day. And uh, get you a good time lapse and take a look at uh, how things are going. Eat a snack, drink some water, hang out for a little bit outside. Because, you know, it's one of those rainy weekends, so Sunday afternoon it's nice and pretty. So let's take advantage of it while we can. All right, guys, we'll be back shortly. All right, guys, we're out here at the lake. I'm going to set it up on the tripod right here on the table. And we're going to video, do a time lapse or two on the lake itself. Um, be kind of cool. Oh, wait. Oh, well, let me show you a couple things real quick. Get the camera flipped around. This is where we were a few weeks back when the flood happened. And you can see how far up right here all the debris that the lake came. But out on the lake, because this is not just a lake. This is a major river. See if I can get this to come in. Uh, he's behind the tree. Hang on, man. I'll come back when he gets in front of the tree. Okay. So I was saying, this is not just Old Hickory Lake. This is also Cumberland River. And if you can see out there, coming past the tree right now, is a barge. He's coming on through. I wish I'd got my camera set up to do time lapse, and we could have. He could have been in the middle of it. That had been kind of cool. Hopefully the wind's not too bad on the microphone because I forgot the dead cat so I've got the foam pad. Did you see him coming through? He is right there. I hear the geese. Alright, just wanted to show you the barge coming past. We're going to set up and do a time lapse and I'm going to eat a snack, drink a little bit of water and hang out. But yeah, you can see how much the lake came up into the campgrounds. That's all debris right there. Let me back you out just a little bit. That's all debris line right there from the lake. I mean, it left stuff everywhere, so it was a mess. All right, guys, we'll be back in a minute.
Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Just want to do something quick and simple for you. Uh, this will probably go up on a weekend. Do not forget to go check out my sponsor down below, My Medic. I'll have a link down below to them. Remember, use mid 10 20. Mid 10 20. Put that right there and get 20% off your order. Guys, it feels good to be out here, even though I'm not camping. I'm still out in nature and that's all that matters guys it's all that matters you don't you don't have to do it all day for weekends and you don't have to do it all day during the week or whatever a few hours here and there does the mind the body and the soul some good and let me tell you I, I can I can feel it going away standing here right now so anyways guys make throw in a couple more shots we may get some shots of the geese before they're gone and the crane stand down here in the water or something so uh stay tuned for that and see you on the next one be prepared